Today we're playing Expedition 33 and with four different GPUs. Our first card is a 3080, a 1080p, and at the max settings. No DLSS for now. And yeah, we're setting at 60 FPS, up to 70 out here. I've been playing for like two hours now, like an hour and a half, I guess. And uh, this area here has been the lowest point. I missed the parry, I'm so okay. This game is so addictive when the fighting is. It's all about timing. If you get it right, it feels so good. There we go, there. Okay, finally. So satisfying when you get that right. So this game is the highest rated game of the year, apparently. It's been getting 90s, like, looking left and right. And it shows. I didn't know it was coming out until I saw it on my feed, like yesterday, pretty much. And uh, after trying it out, I'm honestly shocked how fun it is. But yeah, can't feel any stutters, any of that. It's been pretty smooth the entire time. And that's with no upscaling. And at the max settings as well. So I'd like to see. For the high resolutions, obviously, we will need DLSS, but for 1080p, you can get 60 and more, just fine. And to be fair, this game isn't, I guess it's turn-based, but it does have parrying and dodging, which is, um, I guess, time-based. Having 60 FPS will help for that, but everything else should be fine at 30. Okay, so there we have it, guys. A 1080p epic settings, you're getting 60 FPS, up to 70 on average, easier scenes in the 80s and the 90s. And playing with DLSS... We are sitting at 90 FPS up to 100 in this area. So we gain like 20 to 30 FPS here. Let's rest down and then uh, so we can respawn all the enemies. For the graphics, looks pretty good. Honestly, can't tell a difference. Looks quite nice. It's just sad. It is just sad. I want to parry so bad, but I'm not good enough yet. There we go. Ah, it is so satisfying to get the parries. Going through here. Again, we're sitting at 90 to 100. I think our lowest point here has been like 78 or 80. I'm pressing it. I swear I'm pressing it. My timing is just a little bit off. Come on. I think our lowest point has been like 78 FPS slash the mid 80s. But again, overall, it's been sitting at 90 to 100. Just fine. And the indicator goes higher to like 110 to 115. So that is the range. I think it looks pretty good. For me personally, I would increase the resolution at this point with the LSS. But if you can't do that, this does look good. And you're getting way more than 60. Okay, let's back out, guys. Play at 440p and try again. 440p, epic settings, no the LSS, guys. And off the bat, the game looks fantastic. It is so sharp and so crisp. It looks incredible. If you can play at a high resolution, I would definitely do it. We can't get 60 FPS here, but with the LSS, should be able to easily do it. I think my lowest point was around 44 FPS here. There you go, 41. Actually lower than mid-30s there, wow. Okay, I lied. I guess the lowest point has been the mid-30s, but still felt fine to be honest on the controller. Can't really complain. But if you must get 60, then use the LSS and you should be fine. Get ready. Please. Easy. 40 to 50 FPS out here, honestly feeling pretty okay. It does stutter here and there though, so keep that in mind. It isn't the smoothest, 40 to 50, but um, it's still playable as is, I would say. It's too easy. It is too easy. Look at that damage too. You know what? Dodged it. That's right. I should have okay, he's dead anyway. Again? Oh my god. This attack is gonna kill me, dude. I hate this attack. I'm either too slow or too quick. And the intersection in this game is just, honestly, it's gorgeous. It looks so nice. I think on the ROG Ally, I'm gonna start a new save and go from the intro, because there's a ton of NPCs there. <clears throat> gonna lose my voice, incredible. But yeah, a ton of NPCs. It is packed. And I was getting... I think like 50 FPS there on the GPU side of things on this card. So it should hit the CPU and the GPU at the same time for the ally. So we'll see how we go there. Any guys, easier scenes, we're sitting at 60 FPS. So there we go. In those heavier scenes, it's sitting into the mid 30s and 40s. And easier scenes, we're sitting into the 60s. Let's back out, enable the LSS, and try again. All right, guys, balance the LSS. And we're sitting at 80 FPS out here. Perfect. That is fantastic. To me, I think the grass looks worse, but everything else does look quite good. So we're getting, what, 30 FPS, an increase of 30 FPS, and we're losing a bit of the graphics. 
That's worth it. Uh, I didn't respawn the enemies. Alright, do a bit of fighting. See how we go here, because it does stutter, or it did stutter before. During the fight scenes. Alright. I've done this like 10 times now. Surely I can avoid the attacks. Surely I can avoid the attacks. Oh my god! Okay, I you know what, I quit. Lowest point has been like 60 FPS, but that's been during the cutscene on the transition between the free roam into the battle. There we go. Boom, baby. That felt good. Yes. Okay, perfect. So yeah, some stutters here and there. And for the FPS, it is well above 60. And the indicator is sitting at 90 FPS. So easier scenes in the 90s and heavier scenes in the 60s and the 70s on average. Okay. There we have it, guys. Let's play at 4K and see how we go there. And sadly for 4K, guys, we can't get a stable 30 going. At native, at least. It does fall into the 20s quite easily. And the stuttering is definitely far more aggressive. With DLSS, though, should be... An easy 60, I would imagine, but I guess we'll see. All right, fighting at 20 FPS, let's go. Yeah, fighting will be more difficult, obviously, at 20 FPS. All right, guys, performance deal assess, and we are barely holding on to 60. I mean, not even that, we are in the high 50s. I mean, playing the game, though, without the FPS counter, you can't really tell between 50 to 60. It feels the same. And for the graphics, it looks very sharp, so... The pop in there is kind of crazy, though. I don't like that. Down there, with the flowers and all that. Crazy pop in. I think for me, the sweet spot is still 440p. An epic preset with the LSS. Looks very sharp, and FPS-wise, well above 60. If you're playing at 4K, I would uh, lower the settings a bit more. To maybe high, instead of epic. And you'll have more headroom, in case of a heavier situation. The RTX 4060, at 1080p, and at the high preset. We are sitting at 60 FPS here, with dips into the 50s, so not a bad start with the LSS, we can easily get 60 and more. Now playing at native, it's kind of risky, because we are on the edge of 60, so in those heavy scenes, it can easily fall down into the 50s, or even lower, who knows. For the VRAM, we're sitting at 5.7 gigs, quite good. And the graphics, guys, are intact. This does look quite nice. It's a bit softer versus 440p, but it does look quite good. Yeah, and also in the cave, we're sitting at 70 FPS. So the high points are 70, low points are the mid 40s and low 50s. And with the LSS, we are sitting at 80 FPS, guys. Quite amazing. We gain 20 FPS, or even more than that at times. And the graphics, again, are intact. For me, I'm picking 440p. With the LSS and at 60 FPS, that's my ideal way to play the game. Like, it does look good, but it's definitely softer, and I like that sharper look. During the combat, it's falling into the 70s. Finally got that guy as well. 70 FPS during the combat. Nice, he's dead. 1440p. At the high settings, with no the LSS. And we are sitting into the 30s, guys. 30 FPS. I'm going to go back and respawn the guys and see how far it falls during combat. Now, 30 FPS is playable on a controller, but dodging and parrying is going to be kind of difficult with a low frame rate. Ooh, 32 FPS. That was the lowest. It does look way sharper, though. It looks amazing. So if we can get 60 with DLSS, wow. That's the go-to. Here we go. I couldn't, I couldn't dodge on time, I swear. I pressed it too. I fell off. And playing with the LSS, we're sitting into the 60s now. And the graphics do look better than 1080p. So if you can increase the resolution, you should do it. This was weak. Crack. Almost dead. Almost dead. Oh, that was close. That was real close. Alright. You're done. Yeah, in the fight I did fall below 60, but honestly, to me, it felt fine. This seems to be an okay pick, if you're into playing at a higher resolution. Almost done, dude. You're almost done. One hit. 
Oh no, twice in a row. It does get boring going through the same section over and over again, but the game is brand new and it's pretty story heavy. So I don't want to, you know, go too far ahead. And yeah, in the cave guys are sitting at 80 FPS. So yeah, the high end, it's in the 80s and almost the 90s. Heavier scenes in the low 60s and the 50s. The RTX 2070 guys and a 1080p with a medium preset. No DLSS. Sadly for this card, we can't get 60 going. But it is pretty close. It's very close actually. I mean, I think for most of you, this is already playable. And it will feel fine as well. But if you must get 60, then you can use DLSS. It does look very close to native in this game, which is nice. Look at that. Yeah, he's dead. Three, two, one. Let's hit him with the classic melee. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. Hey, I'm smurfing now. I have so many games to play though. Like, I've got a pretty massive list. And I go for the 100%. I don't just play the game just to beat it. So, it'll be a long while until I can actually play this game. Unfortunately. But, I will pick it up. Probably in December or something. Because it's got a banging intro. He survives that? That's crazy. Okay, again, let's go. Three, two, one. So in this section, the game is definitely playable, even though it does fall into the 40s. I don't have an issue with it, but it is good to have some headroom. So I'm going to enable DLSS, and we can see how we go there. All right, DLSS, and we are sitting at 70 FPS here. Again, a 20 FPS increase, and we are way above 60 now. So yeah, in the heaviest scene, it should hold the 60 FPS mark just fine. I would use DLSS personally, but if you don't like how it looks, the game is playable and native as well. Ooh, first strike bonus. Let's go. You're already half health there, just give it up. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, dude, I'm getting every single one of these now. So yeah, this entire time, there's been no stuttering, there's been no lagging, and uh, we are holding 60 just fine. If it did fall below 60 in the fight, I couldn't tell, so there's that. Now, 44p will be tricky. I'm not sure if a stable 60 is going to happen, but I will try it out, and we can see how we go there. But first things first, the cave, I'm going to guess, like 85 FPS probably. And we are sitting at 80 FPS. High 70s and low 80s. And lastly guys, 440p with DLSS active. And look at that. The game looks fantastic. Weak. That did nothing. There we go. Much better. And... Using the ability with it. Bang. Is one shot. I... Dude, I'm so bad. The timing is so strict. It is so strict. And our final card is the GTX 1060. Running at 1080p low settings with XCSS active as well. And uh, yeah, we're sitting at 40 FPS here, guys. This card is the most risky. I mean, obviously. But it seems to be doing okay. I mean, 40 FPS isn't fantastic. It's playable, but... You know, in the heaviest, it might fall even lower. It might fall into the low 30s, even the 20s. Like, who knows? So that's the risk. It's playable, but it's kind of risky at the same time. I wouldn't pay full price for the game. I would pay through Game Pass. Okay, that is it, guys. That is Expedition 33 with four different GPUs. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Next video. See you guys then.